Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 2 on cow fitting. In this lecture, we will discuss this question on fitting of a parabolic cow. And this question was asked in GTU summer 2020 exam of probability and statistics subject. We have discussed the method of least square for fitting of given cow to the given data. And here we are going to fit a parabola of the form y equal to a plus bx plus cx square to this data. So we have seen how to fit a parabola to the given data in lecture number 1. We just discussed that method of least square. Suppose we want to fit a parabola y equal to a plus bx plus cx square. Then first we have to write down the normal equations for this uh, fitting of parabola and we have seen in lecture number 1 that how to write this normal equations n into a plus b sigma x plus c sigma x square taking sigma on both sides of this equation. Then we multiply this equation by x and then we take summation on both sides a sigma x plus b sigma x square plus c sigma x cube and then we multiply each term of this by x and we have third normal equation sigma x square y equal to a times sigma x square plus b times sigma x cube plus c times sigma x raised to 4 and we are given the pairs for variables x and y. So our data is given in terms of values of x and y. y is dependent variable, x is independent variable and uh, we have to first decide what are these quantities. Sum of all x values, sum of x square values, x cube, sigma x raised to 4, sigma x into y, sigma x square into y. So first we have to prepare the table uh, for which we get all these summations. So we have to prepare all these columns, column corresponding to x square, x cube and x raised to 4. This will be required. Similarly we will require this products x into y also and x square into y. So from this normal equations you have the idea that how many columns are required for particular table and value of n is number of data points here 1 2 3 4 and 5 values are given so n will be equal to 5 for this problem now once we obtain all these values we will make the total for each column and after that we will substitute all these values in these equations and we will have a linear system in three variables a b and c we can solve that linear system either by gauss elimination or kramer's rule or directly by trial and error if possible so this is the idea for this problem first we uh, consider what is the form of parabola which we want to fit if it is given in the question then use that form only sometimes your form can be in this format also ax square plus bx plus c so if they are giving you this form then use this form so accordingly you have to use the given format of the curve which we want to fit if nothing is given we can either use this form or this form because a b c are constants so it does not matter whether we write a x square plus b x plus c or a plus b x plus c x square but here we are asked to fit a parabola in this form so we will consider this form for the fitting of parabola so here i have written all these things first i have to uh, write normal equations so i have written normal equations as i explained after that i have prepared this table so in the first two columns i have written these values of x and y then i find out the values for x square so 
so I square all of these quantities and I obtain these x square values then x cube so x cube can be obtained by taking product of x and x square 0 into 0 1 into 1 2 into 4 that is 8 3 into 9 that is 27 4 into 16 that is 64 so I have multiplied x with x square and I obtain x cube now x raised to 4 can be considered as square of x square so I have taken square of each x square value and that I have written here 0 1 16 81 256 then product of x and y that is product of these values 0 into 1 0 1 into 4 2 into 10 20 3 into 17 51 3 0 into 40 that is 120 and finally we have written x square into y that is multiply these two columns 1 into 0 0 4 into 1 4 10 into 4 that is 40 17 into 9 1 5 3 3 0 into 60 that is 4 8 0 so be careful while doing all these calculations because a single mistake can lead us to the wrong solution so this is very important part for this process of fit fitting a parabola we must be careful while doing all these calculations and uh, now this last column is total for each value so this is sigma x this is sum of all y values this is sigma x square <coughs> sigma x cube this is sigma x raised to 4 sigma x times y and sigma x square into y so i have written all these summations from the table here and in the next step we substitute all these values in this normal equations and we obtain these three equations and uh, we have to solve this system of linear equations or linear system in three variables a b and c i have put values of all these quantities in these three normal equations and i obtain this system of linear equations in three unknowns a b and c so i have different ways of solving this system i can use Cramer's rule or i can use gauss elimination method or i can uh, make the coefficients of corresponding constants equal and then i can uh, find out abc by trial and error here i have solved this system using gauss elimination method so you know how to apply gauss elimination method first you have to write down the augmented matrix of given system and uh, then you have to convert that augmented matrix into rho equivalent form and once you got the rho equivalent form of the matrix you have to write down the corresponding system and then solve that system so first i have written augmented matrix of this system so first column is coefficients of a that is 5 10 and 30 these are the coefficients of variable a then coefficients of b that is 10 30 100 then coefficients of c which are 3 0 100 and 3 54 and these constants are considered in the last column 62 195 677 now this matrix is not in row equivalent form so I start with first non-zero entry of first row and I must have these two entries zero. So I will make these two entries zero using this first row. Here I have 10 so I have to multiply first row by minus 2 and I have to add in second row to make this entry zero. Similarly to make this entry zero I have to multiply first row by minus 6 and i have to add it in third row so these are the elementary row operations for making these two entries zero minus two times r1 plus r2 minus six times r1 plus r3 so applying these operations 
first row remains as it is 5 10 3 0 62 and this becomes minus 2 into 5 that is minus 10 plus 10 0 then minus 2 into 10 minus 20 plus 30 that is 10 again minus 2 into 3 0 that is minus 60 plus 100 which is 40 and minus 2 into 62 plus 195 that is 71 this I have uh, written using scientific calculator and uh, next operation is multiply first row by minus 6 and add in third row so that is minus 6 into 5 minus 3 0 plus 3 0 so this is 0 minus 6 into 10 that is minus 6 0 plus 100 which is 40 minus 6 into 30 that is going to be minus 180 and uh, plus 354 will give us 174. Similarly, 62 is multiplied with minus 6 and uh, it is added in 677 and uh, that gives me 305. So now first non-zero entry of first row is 5 and all the other entries below this entry are 0. Now we come to the first non-zero entry of second row then this entry we have to make 0. So for that I have to multiply this by minus 4 and add in third row. So minus 4 times R2 plus R3 is the next operation and only third row will change. First two rows are as it is. So 0 here 0 into minus 4 0 plus 0 0 minus 4 into 10 minus 40 plus 40 0 minus 4 into 4 0 that is minus 160 plus 174 that gives me 14 and minus 4 into 71 plus 305 gives me 21 so now we can see this is in row equivalent form. The first non-zero entry of each row is to the right side of the first non-zero entry of its preceding row. So if you are not familiar with row equivalent form or Gauss elimination method, you can visit my playlist of Mathematics 1. There you will find out this method for solving system of linear equations. So, Gauss elimination method is explained in full detail with examples in the playlist of mathematics one subject. So, if you are not familiar you can watch those lectures first to understand Gauss elimination method. Now this is in row echelon form. So, now we write down the system corresponding to this row echelon form. So, this first column corresponds to A, second column for B, third column for C. So, first equation is 5A plus 10B plus 30C equal to 62. Second equation is 0 into A that is 0 plus 10B plus 40C equal to 71. Third equation is 0 times A plus 0 times B plus 14C equal to 21. So, this system can be solved directly and solution of this system is same as the solution of our original system. So, we have converted this system which we cannot solve directly into another system which can be solved easily by applying back substitution. Back substitution means we first solve equation number 4 then we substitute value of c in equation number 3 and then we find out value of b and after putting values of b and c in equation 2 we will obtain value of a so that process is called back substitution so first we find that by number 4 if we solve this we have c equal to 21 divided by 14 so that i can rewrite as uh, 3 into 7 and 2 into 7 that is 3 by 2 value of c is 3 by 2 that i substitute here in equation number 3 so i have 10 b plus 40 into 3 by 2 equal to 71 here 
this two will get cancel and we have 10 b plus 6 0 equal to 71 that is 10 b equal to 11 therefore b equal to 11 by 10 and now we substitute values of b and c in equation number 1 and we have 5 a plus 10 into b that is 10 into 11 by 10 plus 30 into c c is 3 by 2 so this is 5a plus 10 will get cancelled 11 this i can rewrite as 15 into 3 45 equal to 62 now this is going to be 5 plus 1 6 56 so i have 5a equal to 62 minus 56 that is 6 and i obtain a equal to 6 by 5 so i have obtained all the constants a b and c which i require in my parabola so now i put a equal to 6 by 5 b equal to 11 by 10 and c equal to 3 by 2 so this is the required parabola which is of best suit to the given data so we have obtained the best parabola or the parabola of best fit to the given data so now you can see it is very easy to obtain or fit a parabola to the given data all you have to understand is how to write down the normal equations once you have written normal equations correctly you can prepare the columns corresponding to all these values and you find out all these summation and substitute them into the normal equations and then you will have a linear system that you can solve either by Gauss elimination or Kramer's rule and solving that system you will get required parabola so here I have obtained this parabola and we have done fitting of parabola to the given data so this is all about this session I hope you like it thanks for watching